What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix new movie, Black Crab. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. Okay, so this movie is not technically new, since it already premiered at the Gothenburg Film Festival last month, but the general public worldwide will finally get to watch it on Netflix starting next weekend. While I love that Numi Rapaz keeps starring in all these Netflix movies over the past few years. Hey, I'm here for all of it. Keep them coming. But I gotta say, I'm not too crazy about Black Crab. Don't get me wrong, this film at times can be suspenseful, and some of the shootout scenes are very well done, but the script leaves so many holes and unanswered questions, to the point where I couldn't care less about any of these characters, including Numi's. On top of which, I just can't take the concept seriously. Every time they start skating across the ice to outrun flying bullets, they look so silly it gets me chuckling. Based on Jerker Vidborg's novel written and directed by Adam Berg, Black Crab is a Swedish action thriller set in a post-apocalyptic world torn apart by war. During a long, harsh winter, six soldiers embark on a covert mission across a frozen archipelago, risking their lives to transport a mysterious package that could end the war. As they enter hostile enemy territory, they have no idea what dangers lie ahead or who, if anyone, they can trust. But for speed skater turned soldier Caroline Ed, the mission is about something else entirely. Okay, do you remember that classic war film, The Guns of Navarone, one of my all-time favorites? So I always refer to that whenever a film like Black Crab comes along that shares similar theme of a few brave individuals teaming up, traveling to reach a destination to destroy something and save the world, yada yada yada. But unfortunately, Black Crab is nowhere near the Guns of Navarone storytelling quality. The whole time I was watching this movie, I kept asking, wait a minute, what is the war about? Who are these so-called enemies? And how come we only know very little about Numi's team? God, it's so frustrating. The characters are underdeveloped and underwhelming in its almost two hour runtime. Time, the film miserably fails to flesh out any of them. And to make things worse, nearing the end, the mission kind of changes, but even then, we're still left confused and baffled as to why the story has to take that turn. Look, I don't know how it is in the book. I've never read the book, but this is a case of an adaptation that's more concerned with the thrills and the set pieces while neglecting crucial aspects that would have helped audiences connect with the emotional, heroic undertone. Credit where credit is due, Numi is always enjoyable to watch. Performance-wise, that woman is as tough as she is resolute. And logistically, this must not have been an easy film to shoot because the CG factor does not take away from the seemingly grueling landscape. But my verdict remains in that Black Crab has its moments, but because of the reasons I mentioned, this movie does not amount to greatness. 